Cigarettes have warning labels. Should soda have them too? San Francisco is set to become the first U.S. city to require health warnings on advertisements for soda and other sugar-added drinks after the beverage industry fails Tuesday to get a court order to stop it. Here with more details is Wall Street Journal reporter Mike Estrell. Mike, thanks for joining us. I imagine the beverage industry is not happy about this. How is the industry reacting? Yeah, I think uh, their argument is they're being um, singled out unfairly. There's a lot of products that contain sugar, not just um, not just drinks, you know, chocolate bars, candy, all that sort of thing. And so their argument is they're being unfairly singled out. Um, and they're also uh, arguing that since things like soda make up less than 10 percent of the daily caloric intake, that um, singling out things like soda and other sugar added drinks um, is not the best way to go after fighting obesity, uh, diabetes, and other health issues. And so what do San Francisco health officials say about this new law? Well, they, they say it's, uh, it's an easy way to crack down on things like obesity and diabetes. And there's no argument about um, sugar um, uh, causing tooth decay. That's been true for a long time. Um, so their argument is um, that... Uh, you know, it's one thing you can point towards um, soda consumption is still sort of the number one thing that's bought when it comes to uh, when it comes to um, packaged beverages. Um, if you buy a can of Coke, it's got about 150 calories worth of sugar. Um, the FDA um, has proposed that Americans um, limit their added sugar intake to about 10 percent of their daily caloric intake. So that's about 200 calories. So you drink a can of Coke, for instance. Um, and you're already very close to that to that daily limit. You've already, yeah, you've already hit the top of that. Now, what exactly are the requirements of the new law, and when does it go into effect? They're going to go into effect uh, July 25th. Um, this got passed a year ago by the city council, um, and then uh, the beverage industry and retailers and outdoor advertisers um, sued to try to stop it. And on Tuesday, a judge ruled that they would not get the preliminary injunction to stop it. So it's set to go forward. Um, it's not an all-encompassing ban um, or, or uh, warnings don't go on every single piece of advertisement. They go on outdoor advertisements like billboards, um, posters, um, bus shelters, that sort of thing. They have to cover about 20% mm -hmm. of, the, uh, of the advertisement. And, and basically it says that uh, there's a warning sign and it says that uh, consumption of uh, sugar added beverages contribute to obesity, diabetes. Now, if you, you know, if you pick up a can of uh, Coke or Pepsi, it doesn't have the warning on it. It's not on menus. So it's not all encompassing at this point. All right. Now, is there a sense that other cities are taking note? I mean, could sodas become the new cigarettes? Well, I think we're still a long way away from that, but certainly the, the soda industry is, is being increasingly targeted. Um, there's a bunch of cities and states that have been looking at um, special taxes on soda and sugary drinks. Philadelphia is looking at a three cent per ounce tax on such drinks, and that could double the price of, of, um, of many drinks. Mm -hmm. um, and, then, uh, and then in terms of warnings, lawmakers in California, the state, and also the state of New York, some lawmakers have proposed putting warning labels on the actual packaging of uh, soda cans and bottles. Um, that hasn't gained enough traction yet. Um, unclear if it will. Um, and obviously, the beverage industry argument is, you know, you can drink soda um, in moderation and, and not have a negative health effect. Obviously, um, any, any level of, of cigarette um, is going to be bad for your health. Right. Yeah, that is a difference. All right. Well, we will all be watching where this goes. Thank you so much, Mike Estrell, for that. Thank you.